Ah, welcome back adventurers. Today's quest, understanding why Donut Lab just kicked down the doors of CES 2026 and declared, behold mortals, we have invented the battery of prophecy. So, how are you? Thank you for watching, really much appreciate it. Now, um, let's try not to touch anything that's glowing, okay? Donut Lab say they built the world's first ore solar state battery ready for actual production. Not pilot line, not demo vehicles, not we promise it's coming in 2030 if your stars align and a cow farts in that right general direction. No, they said real vehicles, real roads, real customers. We've heard that before somewhere, haven't we? Yeah. Hydrogen. Hydrogen. Meanwhile, though, if you have a battery company still in the pub arguing about timelines, remember Samsung, the SDI, 2027, Toyota, 2020, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2028, 20 something, 30. Nissan, 2028-ish. Everybody else, just don't ask, please, don't ask. Donut Labs, though, well, they've done it. And it's going into motorcycles. So yeah, here, credit cards out. The specs, all the claims. Let me read you these numbers and um, yeah, try not to faint, okay? First up, 400 watt hours per kilometer of energy density. That's seriously impressive. We're talking massive impressive, like electric aircraft capable impressive. Cars with a thousand kilometers of range. That kind of impressive. Five minute full charging time. No tapering at 80% like the sad lithium ion peasant cells we currently have at the moment. And don't worry your oil seems. I'm sure you'll all reclaim you can refill your cars in four minutes now. Also good for 100,000 charging cycles, which is, a, yeah, that's like millions of kilometers worth of charging cycles right there. Not only that, works for temperatures in minus 30 to well over 100 degrees centigrade. Now, if you're gonna be driving a car at over 100 degrees centigrade, you're gonna have some more serious issues on your plate. Minus 30 though, so that blows away that myth right there, or the, you know, the so-called story that EVs are bad because they don't work in the cold. Well, now they will, if this battery manages to deliver what it's promised. Of course, though, the best part of this, no fire risk at all, no dendrites created, no dramas, and it also costs less than lithium ion. Again, like I said, impressive. And it's also made from abundant materials, so um, no need to invade countries to, for their resources. Again, so, this really isn't a battery, is it? It's a legendary artifact, as some might call the Holy Grail. Remember what I said before, actual customers? Well, Verge Motorcycles is the one strapping these batteries into their TS Pro and the Ultra models of the motorbike. They're claiming under 10 minute recharging times, 60 kilometers of range per minute of charging, not bad. So that means, yes, 600 kilometers of range in 10 minutes. See, math is easy, I learn things. If it's true though, that means your motorcycle will charge faster than you can order a coffee and leave. And that includes leaving a coffee on the table so you can leave. And if you ride a motorcycle long distance, you'd know it's probably not even enough time to unsnap your back, uncrack your wrists and learn how to walk upright again. Here's the fun part though. Donut Lab says these bikes will be on the roads this quarter, this year. Now, unlike the other claims where it's uh, 2028, 2029, 2030, long into the future, long after we've forgotten these claims, nah, this quarter, this year, so um, we're gonna know quite soon whether they'll live up to the hype. So that, is, that means the entire industry is watching. Is this real? Is it another enchanted scroll of marketing illusions? For once though, we don't have to wait the years, as I just mentioned, the answer's coming this quarter or not. So why does this matter? Well, solid state batteries have been in the holy grail for quite some time, quite a few decades to be precise, and um, those press leave archives are filling up Quite a lot with every company saying the same thing. We're close, we're almost there, just a few more years, just one more year, just give us a bit more money and we'll be there. If Donut Lab actually manages to pull this off, that means EVs will charge as fast as petrol cars, which to be frank, even though I'm Rob, is too fast. Because you know, I like using an actual toilet when I go to the toilet and I enjoy buying and eating road trip snacks. Not to mention the refresh gives them a long drive, you know, the stop, revive, survive thing, which has been well proven to save lives and keep you revived. But if EVs are gonna charge as fast as petrol cars, that goes out the window. As are those arguments too from all those diesel lovers. And um, not only that, even chatting to other EV owners while having that charge shop is actually quite entertaining, can be fun, meet nice people. And also, yeah, it means that range anxiety now becomes the bedtime story for petrol car owners that they once dreamed of. Thermal runaway becomes a myth. 2027, 2020, 30 timelines get yeeted into the abyss. So before we crown Donut Lab the new battery overlords, here's what must be verified, of course. Repeatable five minute charging times. Thermal stability at motorcycle pack sizes. Because as we know, motorcycles aren't as big as cars. 
Unless it's an early Honda Goldwing. Those things are massive. I don't know how you ride that. Oh yeah, the battery must also generate no dendrites under high C rates. So that's your discharge rates. Charge rates, so you're whacking 400 kilowatts in there or drawing 400 kilowatts on the throttle, it's got to form no dendrites. Manufacturing yields that won't make their engineers cry and also, pardon, have a real world range under normal human chaotic conditions. If they pass all that, then we will enter a new era of electrification. If they fail, well, a dungeon always welcomes the new skeletons, doesn't it? So, EV adventurers, sharpen the curiosity and prepare the skepticism. So in the next 12 weeks, we're gonna learn whether Donut Lab has forged a legendary artifact or just pulled off another legendary marketing exercise and fundraising scheme. Either way, the quest will continue. We'll try not to die before the results come in. Interesting times indeed. Battery world, battery tech and EV space is constantly evolving at a massively rapid pace. So if you got this far, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you will and appreciate you and take care of yourselves and I'll see you all in the next video. Oh yeah, algorithm, things like subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, take care. See you later.